Hey, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Going to have an excellent little show for you today. Uh, Emmanuel Navarrete and Robinson can say so. Um, this is a good fight. I, I changed my mind after binge watching some fights. Um, I, I thought this was going to be Navarrete in a no brainer, but I'm going to get into it. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, every big fight. We got you covered. Uh, we're going to show you how to bring down the house. Uh, the Boxing Bookies, the, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to make, they don't, they don't know how to handicap these fights, but I do. And I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to make a consistent stream of income uh, on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, uh, but if you all do, <clears throat> um, I'm going to show you how to make money. Again, I'm in Texas. We can't even use DraftKings. Uh, I like to use DraftKings as well. Show you that A, I don't gamble, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to make money. And B, um, I, I think uh, DraftKings is just easy to use. It's pretty good odds, and the, the, the user interface is, is pretty pretty friendly for someone stupid like me. All right, but let's get into today's show. Um, this is a really good fight. Um, I, I don't think Navarrete has looked his best. At this weight, um, you know, when, when Navarrete, I mean, he's so oddly built with his wingspan, right? Because you think he's really tall. He's just 5'7", right? He's not tall, but he is extremely long with a 72-inch reach, right? Like, his wingspan is crazy. Um, and he's just on you and on you and on you. But I, I don't think 130 is his best weight. Um, and... This is going to sound weird because Conceição and 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 um, never have a common opponent in Oscar Valdez, and, and Valdez destroyed him, beat him easily, and Conceição lost. But I don't think Conceição lost. I think Conceição beat him and beat, beat him pretty fairly, going pretty convincingly. Uh, going back and watching the fight, um, and before that, he got dropped by Liam Wilson, um. That fight was eye-opening. I thought he was losing the fight. Um, he got dropped. He came back, and he finished Liam Wilson. Uh, Navarrete has a problem with pure boxers, and I think he's going to have a problem with speed. We've not really seen him in there with a speedster, uh, to, the, to the best of my memory. Um, Ruben Villa, not, not a speedster. Um, that's the only name that really comes to mind. And, and Villa... Um, was dropped a couple of times, but other than that, probably won that fight. But you know, he lost decision, a close decision, because of the knockdowns. Uh, that, that was a while ago, um, and he and he's got some good wins since then. Um, but I just don't think one thirty is his best weight class. Like he looks slow to me there. Uh, I mean, he is slow and, and he's lethargic. Uh, but he's on you, and it's so hard with his, with his, with his, you know, how long he is to keep him off you, and he's just working and working and working. Um, you know, he's got a powerful jab. He uses his jab to keep you away when he wants to, and, and he uses it to kind of find you. Um, you know, he's got really poor footwork. He's so awkward and, and, and unorthodox. Um, th th there's flaws to him, but he hits really hard. He throws a lot of shots. And he makes you uncomfortable. And I, I think the key is, is, is to make him uncomfortable. Um, you got to be first with him. And Kinsasio likes to go first. You got to have some pop. I, 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 I keep hearing Kinsasio can't knock him out. Kinsasio absolutely can't knock him out. Kinsasio is not Feather Fist. I know he's got less than a 50% knockout ratio. He's only got eight KOs. But you can't tell me that this guy can't hit at all. You can't tell me that. Um, and he's going to hit. Navarrete a lot, a lot, right? Um, you know, everyone goes back and looks at the Conceição fight with Shakur Stevenson. He's not fighting Shakur Stevenson. He's fighting the exact opposite of Shakur Stevenson. It's like saying you can't beat Shaquille O'Neal in a game of one-on-one -on -one because you lost to Steph Curry. It's like this, this guy's like complete opposite. What are you, what are you talking about? Um, he, he looks sensational in, in 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 taking apart. And shutting out Xavier Martinez, I scored, I think, every round for him. There might have been one out of the ten I scored from Martinez. Uh, but even at that, that wasn't convincing. Um, and, and before that, I, I thought he beat Valdez. Um, he's got a win <clears throat> over Luis Correa. So he's got some decent wins. 
you know, he's fought on, you know, big cards, um, almost his whole career. He's an Olympic gold medalist. Um, he fought on that for Chalmers, Miguel Roman card. Like, he's been um, in big fights, on big cards. Um, he fought like a uh, Hoheen, too. Uh, that's interesting. Um but but he's he's been a bit a part of this. Uh, you know we've seen him a lot. Um, like he's an Olympic gold medalist. Uh, his last fight was ended in a no contest. Um, that was against Nicholas Polanco. Uh, that was back in June. You know, so his last official fight was uh, over a year ago with Shakur Stevenson. Um, but I I, I think. And, and and I'm going to show you the odds, and, and, and this is what's tipping me this way, right? Because originally I looked at the final, I looked at Navarrete. He's just so much to deal with, right? Like there's so much wrong with Navarrete, uh, but his power, his volume, his work rate, his endurance, his chin, it's a lot to overcome, right? Like he, he can make all these mistakes and he can seemingly get away with it, right? Because he's so unique, he's so awkward, he's so awkward, and he just keeps punching you and punching you, right? And and like from long range, he's pretty accurate with his hooks and, 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 and his power shots. Um, you got to get to his body. Consejo can get to his body. You got to get off to a fast start. Consejo likes to get, get to a fast start, right? Like Consejo can get in front of him, can get a lead on the cards, right? Hyper annoying. Uh, Consejo can do it. I, I think Consatio stylistically has exactly what you need to beat this guy, right? Navarrete struggles with boxers. Consatio is a gold medalist, right? He's an excellent pure boxer. Speed, good hooks, goes to the body. Navarrete's so big and long, you got to get to his body. And, and, and Consatio has an excellent body puncher, just doesn't do it enough. But he's got, he's got these really good counter hooks. He can punch in between your punches, and he can go first. He can fight backwards, which I don't really want him to do. I, I want him to come forward with Navarrete. Really, really make Navarrete uncomfortable. Hit him to the body, punch him to the body, take some steam out of him, right, um, and, and tie him up when you have to. But you need to you need to wear him out. And, and Contesio has a really good gas tank. We've seen that, um, like I said, with Martinez, with Valdez. We've seen he doesn't fade. Right, he has he throws in in, in pretty good volume, um, and he does a lot of things. He's so much quicker, and I, I think that's going to be a factor in this. Right, and I'm, I'm not saying this is a 50 50 fight. And what's my rule on 50 50 fights? What's my rule on 50 50 fights? If it's a prohibitive dog, you bet the dog on 50 50 fights. And watching this, I think this fight's 50 50, and it's a prohibitive dog. But let's take a look. At the odds on this, I got a million pop-ups up. Uh, here it is. Okay, we're going to use DraftKings. I want you to look at the money line on this. Navarrete is minus 1,800. Right? So I'm showing you my hands already. I, I want to show you this. A $100 bet on Navarrete makes you $5.55. Uh, 50 55. I'm telling you, this fight's just like I told you Eddie Vasquez and Joe Cordina was a 50 50 fight, and it was a 50 50 fight. This is a 50 50 fight, and to bet a hundred dollars to win 555, it's just not worth it, right? Like, we don't need to hit every single one, we really don't, right? A $100 bet makes you $900. We're taking that. We don't. We only need to hit one out of nine to break even. If we hit two out of nine, we're making a ton of money, right? I sort of the same thing at Eddie Vasquez. Like we're gonna hit on these, and it's just not worth it on these 50-50 fights. Where he could very much lose the fight. He could clearly lose the fight. Clearly, he could lose the fight. Um, it, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me to bet Navarrete from a from a. You know, and there's no odds on this. There's no, I mean, there's no uh, props on this. It's just the money line. So just the money line. We're taking Consacia because it just doesn't make any sense to bet Navarrete. You, you're betting a hundred to win five dollars and fifty five cents on a fight he could lose, right? It's just the juice is not worth the squeeze here. Consacia could win this fight. He's the he's the right formula 
to beat Navarrete. And this is what I mean by the odds makers have no idea what they're doing. I told you this with Eddie Vasquez. Did Eddie Vasquez look like an 8-1 to underdog to you in that fight? Uh, Consencio is not going to be an 8-1 to underdog either. All right, he's going to win. He, he, he's got a good chance. I think at least a 50-50 chance. I probably favor Consencio to win this fight. Uh, and with that being said, you'd be foolish not to bet on him. Because even if you're wrong, Betting on Navarrete makes no sense. It makes zero sense to bet on Navarrete. Um, so, I mean, that's the bet. $100 on Consecio to use his speed, to use his skills, just to outwork him and survive. Hit him in the body, wear him down, and get a decision. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I know this is going to be unpopular. I know Navarrete has a lot of fans. Go back and watch the Liam Wilson uh, fight. Tell me that you think this guy is unbeatable from a good boxer. Um, all right, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. The, the, the boxing book it comes out to you for every major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to make money. This is the upset special. Uh, it's October, no, it's not it's November 13th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.